Hey everyone. Uh, I just wanted to share with you our experience with um, tick removal with ticks. We are in a very wooded area and it's summer. Uh, flea and tick season is in full swing around here. And I just wanted to share with you a couple of, I don't know, um, little advice if you find one. So if you do find one on your pet, we have this tool here. Um, it is called Tick Ease. And this end part is for when uh, the tick is embedded in your pet's skin, uh, even in your own. It sort of goes, you put the head um, through here, you sort of wedge it, if you could imagine that, and then just sort of pry it off. That is for grabbing it. It's a little tweezer at the end of it. It's good to have. Um, I've read a lot of things online saying to burn the tick, um, that kind of thing. But what that does is, if the tick does in fact have Lyme's disease, it'll, I've read, uh, I'm not a doctor, but um, I've read that it can in fact cause the tick to sort of regurgitate the, the contents of its stomach, which can expose your pet to Lyme, like further expose it to Lyme's. Um, this, so we took him off. Well, he sort of came off by himself, but I don't know if I can get my camera to focus. That is the tick. So yeah, um, the markings are not visible to, to somebody who's not an expert. Like, um, I'm definitely not an expert. Um, so... I can't really tell, but judging by its size, I mean, that's fully engorged and he's still pretty little. So if you could just, for size reference, he's really tiny. Um, that's most likely a deer tick. Uh, and that's the one that does carry Lyme. So I'm saving him and I'm testing my dog in six weeks. That's when they say that the antibodies do show up in the blood system, in the blood, blood, bloodstream. If you do find a tick, I really suggest saving it. Um, you can test the tick itself if you want um, a quicker result than six weeks. But I did uh, hear from other people in the area that if you test the tick and it does come out positive for Lyme's disease, that doesn't necessarily mean that it gave it to your pet, if that makes sense. So the tick itself could test positive and you know, your pet may or may not have been exposed. Um, he or she will need to be tested anyway before they the vet starts them on the medication. But look at that, I absolutely hate them. We're always checking. Please, anytime that you are in wooded area, high, tall grass, check for these. When he wasn't engorged, I would imagine that it's about the size of a poppy seed. They are super tiny. So between toes, behind the ears, the scalp, under your arms, behind your knees, check for those. And that tool, this thing, whoops that thing can also be used for you. All right, everyone. I um, hope you found the video informative. Stay safe out there. Check your pets. Uh, save the tick. Always, always a good idea to save that disgusting tick. All right, Luna? All right. Bye, guys.